that I'm trialing it all out today to see how I feel. I don't know if you're seeing this, but ready, watch this. Guys, my hair, I am obsessed. Behind me? Oh yeah, yeah. oh that's so sweet. We're so ready we for this yacht. Like but it's looking like Bali is a go. I'm gonna fly out in literally two days time or three days time. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. I'm very excited to be vlogging this weekend because I have a bit on. I'm getting my hair done today. We're doing a balayage. I was going to keep it a surprise, but you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail anyway. But very excited because my hair is very dark at the moment and I'm going to go a lot lighter. And I think I'm going to do a money piece around the front, which I've never had. So I'm really excited to see the end results today. But I'm driving up to the Brisbane salon for it because it's a beautiful, like brand new salon and everything is so gorgeous. So I'll bring you guys along for the process and then tomorrow we're celebrating jamie's birthday so we're going on the yacht club which i'm very excited for i haven't been on there in quite a while and it's always just such a good vibe i'm telling you i don't know you can't really see the difference here but i use the um liquid illuminate from lost minerals and literally just gives you like the most beautiful glow like i don't know if you've seen the trends going around but the european glow makeup look if you're looking for a base for that this is it emco beauty actually sent me a bunch of their makeup so i'm really excited i'm trialing it all out today to see how I feel. I got their famous lip oil that everyone has been going on about. I just put a little tan on so let's see if the color I picked out actually matches because I picked this when I wasn't tan. I don't know if anyone's interested in it but I could literally make like a 20 minute video just sitting here talking to you guys about life while doing my makeup. Like is that does anyone want that? Ooh, okay color matches looking good. It's looking promising. Guys I don't know if you're seeing this but ready watch this. Watch the blend. First of all, color match is perfect. And look at that coverage. Okay, the hype around this product is real. Whoa. All right, guys, makeup is done. I'm obsessed. I literally spent like $60 on my normal foundation and this is literally topped it. So I think this is 100% gonna be my new foundation because I'm in love. Um, anyway, I have to literally run out the door in 10 minutes. So I'm going to pack everything up real quick, get dressed for the day, and then jump in the car and drive to Brisbane because my hair appointment is ju in just under an hour. In just over an hour. So I need to get cracking. All right, here's the final fit. I've got a little knit from charcoal, sports girl pants, Peter and Jane jacket, and then a bunch of accessories from Sundre. How cute is this little heart necklace? I'm obsessed with her. And then I'm just gonna wear some little black slides to match the bag. incredible i've never been in this color before and i am actually obsessed my camera's gonna die so i'll check in with you when i'm at ebony's house but i just had to quickly show you this before i go but oh, they are literally amazing i didn't even get to show you the finished hair properly i just took my makeup off and got into my pajamas but i am obsessed i actually i had no idea like i was i don't think i was like mentally prepared for such a big change i'm in love with it and the girls at stefan's did an incredible job i went to the south brisbane one so if you're around there's lots of stephens around but if you're near south brisbane definitely head into them i went to tash and she is just an absolute hair goddess i'm in love with it like i'll show you tomorrow in the sunlight it's a lot lighter but oh, this new era of me i'm in love with i've just come up to stay at my bestie's place in brisbane and we're just having a little night in and then we're gonna head back down to brisbane tomorrow for my other bestie's birthday so i've just ordered some uber eats and we're gonna have a little night in i'm gonna put my face mask on i've been using this like jelly face mask from jelly co and i've been loving it feels really like super hydrating on my skin i actually just cannot stop staring at myself because i'm obsessed with my hair <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna let this mask marinate. I did not get enough sleep last night. I like struggled to fall asleep until like midnight. Usually I go to bed at like t 10 o'clock or earlier. So I'm definitely gonna need a matcha today. Hi. Hi. Ice cream latte on hot. Can I also pay for the car behind me too? Behind me? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. It's my friend. Okay, so here's your drink. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I made her day just then. Okay, this matcha was very much needed today. Can I get out this way? 
I feel so tired because I only got like six hours sleep because I couldn't sleep last night. If anyone remembers, I made a Christmas video like a couple years ago and it was trying all the Christmas Starbucks range. And that was the first time I ever tried a matcha in that video. And I hated it. I thought it was the most disgusting foul drink. I literally said in the video, it tasted like fish food. It took me some adjusting and then I never had Starbucks again, like Starbucks matcha. And I tried matches from a few other places and over time I started to like matcha like I found ones that I liked and then I tried the matcha the Starbucks one a year later and it tasted the exact same and I was in love with it and I think it was just because I had to build my like taste buds up to matcha anyway I've got two hours to head home and get ready I'm gonna recurl my hair do my makeup all right we're on the glam and I'm like halfway through my hair I've curled the bottom half but I think I'm gonna do the top half after my makeup so it sits really nice. But I'm going back in with the Emco Beauty Foundation from yesterday. It actually held up really, really well all day yesterday, which is very big for me because I'm very picky with makeup when it comes to like going out for long events. All right, we are all, all ready. ready to go. Look at us in this. Okay, you look stunning. Oh my God. Black and white, yin and yang. I know, you literally are right now. Yin and yang. All right, guys, outfit tour. Got my pink little bag from Bellini. Got my suit jacket dress from bianca and bridge i think it is and then some pink little heels from novo cute I'm, stunning i wear this every day yes like, <laughs> this should be my uniform every day she's a little she's the yang a black dress from baby Ooh. me leather blazer from glasson cute and then a cute little beige pouch yes from too much shoes yeah. And these shoes are from Blaney as well. Love that. We're so ready we for this yacht. <laughs> I'm keen. Good day today. <laughs> later it look like a mess every time i go out and socialize i'm like battery at one percent for the next few days and that's exactly how i felt i've just been like energetically recovering look saturday was a lot of fun but i was just so exhausted i mean i've been just like staying real low the last couple of days um i'm about to head out to the gym it always makes me feel so much better like i feel like i'm back in routine when i go to the gym and as much as i don't want to go right now i'm just like forcing myself because i know that automatically just going to shift me out of this lazy energy and that's how i feel right now like really lazy so getting back on track i'm really excited that i'm seeing the barbie movie tonight it came out like a week ago and i'm so excited and i kid you not like it's not all the hype around this movie that made me want to go and see it like i when i first seen this trailer of this movie it was a couple months ago before the hype was all going on and i was like i am seeing that movie because i was just so excited i freaking love margot robbie like i don't think i even played with barbies very much when i was younger but margot robbie is like one of my favorite actresses so that's the plan for today i'm gonna go to the gym and then i've got my laptop and i'm gonna go either work from a cafe or a park or something i'm just gonna go work from somewhere out of the house because i've been getting really like stagnant like i hate working and living in the same place it's really challenging challenging sometimes so I just need to change my space up and get out of the house and then I know I'm just gonna be back on track I'm gonna be feeling so much better so today is all about getting back into routine and feeling better so I'll see you at the gym I just finished at the gym and I'm doing my makeup in the car because I just showered at gym so I can just go work out of a park or a cafe or something so I'm just quickly doing my makeup so I'm ready for the day I'm feeling a little bit anxious today and I don't why know why like i know i'm really busy with work at the moment and my emails are never ending like i can never get on top of my emails which is a great thing but i'm someone who just always likes to be so perfect at everything i like to have everything done really well i like to give good service to people i don't like to take too long to reply to people and when my emails are like this i cannot physically get back to everyone so i'm just really having to prioritize like who i'm communicating with at the moment and what partnerships i'm taking on with my ugc I'm just doing everything i can to get back into routine i think that's what it is actually i haven't been in a proper routine in a little while because obviously when you work for yourself it's you're the one who has to be disciplined with yourself and i think i've just been really lenient with myself lately and i haven't really stuck to a daily routine which is something i really thrive with i don't know if i should say anything yet because i don't know what's going to happen but juan's in bali right now i dropped him off at bar and i dropped him off at the airport yesterday morning and i've just been having this major fomo like he's over there with his two mates and i am just like literally so sad 
because I could have gone and I was meant to be going. It's like I'm meant to be in Bali. So we're figuring out a way to get me over there because flights right now are like double the price of what they would have been if I booked in advance. But because I'm want to leave in like a couple of days, they're ridiculous. Might be heading to Bali at the end of the week. We'll see what happens, but oh, I just need a holiday. I haven't been on a holiday in like two, over two years. I am actually starving. So I've just picked up a coffee and bagel from O Bagel. By the way, their coffee is phenomenal. And look at that. You have got to be kidding me. This smells insane. That movie was so crazy. Like, <laughs> it felt like it went for half an hour. Like, that was the fastest movie I've ever watched. There was so much going on. There was so much, like, meaning to the movie. A lot of the time I was sitting there in the movie, I was like, what is going on right now? Just sitting there processing what I'm watching. <laughs> Anyway, overall, really great movie. I'm home now and I have a package. Pretty sure these are a pair of shoes from Brooks Running. <gasps> I got the new runners. These ones were the Levitate Stealth Fit. I ran my half marathon in um, the Glycerin 20 versions. I sized up on this one too because the Glycerin 20s were a bit, a little bit too small to run long distance. So I'm excited to see how these ones go. But it's looking like Bali is a go. Kind of crazy, like I'm gonna fly out in literally two days time or three days time. Like that is insane. So I'm just making myself a to-do list and figure out if I have enough clothes because all my stuff is winter clothes right now. I've literally just got done a closet clear out and gotten rid of all my summer stuff. So we're gonna have to see what I can make do with. I've had a big day, so I'm gonna wind down. I'm gonna get myself Bali ready. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm definitely gonna be making a Bali vlog. I haven't traveled in years. So we're gonna be making a vlog, that's for sure. And I will see you in Bali. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>